Welcome to edsguitarlessons.com. I want to do a demo today on the software that belongs to this Pod X3 Live, uh, made by Line 6. A lot of people shy away from these all-in-one pedals because they seem so complex. Uh, but I want to try to ho uh, hopefully simplify things for you so that you can see that with this software that they provide, um, that uh, with the unit uh, called Gearbox, that really it becomes a very user-friendly um, piece of equipment and it kind of if you're like me I need a visual I gotta see things you know I'm more of a visual person and so seeing really kinda helps you uh, to know what you're doing you know as far instead of a bunch of little boxes that don't make any sense so um, that's what the purpose of this gearbox software is for is that you might be able to see um, the uh, the actual things that's taking place in the uh, unit okay and um, on the screen here you can see that when you turn on gearbox in fact I'll restart it just so you can see it start okay um, but this is it's connected the pedal is connected by a USB cable into my computer I go to the gearbox software right here uh, uh, logo and um, click on it there's gearbox it opens up it's loading whatever's on my unit and you're gonna see it kind of load into the boxes on the left side of your screen and um, uh, basically there's 32 banks okay uh, that show up here that on the left that tell you exactly all 32 banks uh, it tells you the names of the uh, patches that you have in all 32 banks times four so this is about 128 something like that um, uh, patches that you can load into the unit so there's a lot of space in here to to set up your 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 system uh, and of course it's recommended uh, that you know the ones that you're going to use for gigging you want them all in in the you know close to each other so you load you know the two you know the most popular patches that you have um, um, close to each other say tw you know banks 27 28 that would be eight different um, spaces that you can use to load or save your favorite um, patches to or you can do bank one and two whatever ones you want you got 32 to pick from uh, it's loaded with already uh, it comes with uh, a ton of pre-set um, patches you know everything from Hendrix to um, uh, Hint, uh, to you know Eddie Van Halen uh, just weird sounds and so there's a bunch in here already um, and we're not going to go over all those sounds but I, what I want to hopefully do here is basically help you to see the value of this gearbox because it gives you the visual that you need you know to be able to uh, see what is being changed on the unit itself okay and so what what is also a nice feature about these units whether it's line six or digitech or whoever uh, that make these stunt these you know multi effects pedals uh, is most of them do this amp simulation okay so they're simulating an amp and uh, what you heard me playing there was a you know a, 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 a patch that I created uh, trying to you know uh, figure out or use uh, the different settings that uh, maybe Hendrix had uh, he used a Marshall amp so I selected a Marshall amp you, you click on amp here and um, it um, 
it brings up the amp that you want to, you know, that you're looking at that's loaded in in this particular patch in 19B. Okay, that's where I got it. Yeah, 19D is where this is located at. So in 19D, I have a Marshall amp setting, but uh, there's a drop down menu here. Uh, when you if you wanted to change the amp you didn't want a Marshall so you just click on it and up out opens this this big box uh, drop down box it has all the different types of amps everything from a tiny Twee to Vox to um, a Mesa Boogie to Soldanos to uh, and different eras too 60s 70s 80s 2003 you know I mean it has all kinds of different amps in here uh, Fender and Marshall of course and high gain and uh, so you, you know and if you s select uh, like a Fender amp the it, it looks like a Fender amp front you know so it kind of helps you to see how um, you know see the amp that they're talking about that's uh, a Vox and that looks like the Vox uh, settings and, and you know with those chicken knobs there that's exactly how it looks on a box uh, if you select uh, uh, a small tweed it looks like a small tweed uh, amp okay uh, 1953 which is an older style amp uh, here's a Gibtone so it's like a Gibson uh, amp okay 1960 era okay and uh, so and here would be like a um, where is it at? Uh, this would be like, a, I'm pretty sure this is emulating a Mesa Boogie style amp, okay? Uh, it says Tread Plate Cali um, on it. So you have all these different settings that you can use here and uh, um, or amps that you can select, okay? And I'm going to go back to my, um, scroll down to get back to my Marshall that I had for Hendrix, which I can't find now. There's so many, it's unbelievable. Uh, jumper 68, Plexi lead jump. Okay, so that's the one that I had uh, for, for Hendrix. Okay, that's the sound that you heard me playing at the beginning. Okay, with the 412 uh, cabinet, okay, uh, and so you can select the type of cabinet that you want to use 112s, one, uh, one by six. 2 by 2s, 2 12s, 4 by 10s, you know, blackface, uh, tweed, all kinds of different cabinets that gives you, the, uh, emulates the sound of those type of speakers. Is it perfect? No, but it's really close to, to sounding like that particular type of speaker. Okay, so pretty cool you can add an amp okay so it gives you all those amps uh, included in this unit okay it emulates the sound of them so we're going to go down to this next line here that actually shows you what's plugged into the amp okay uh, or the signal chain or this would represent the stop boxes that you're plugging into the amp okay so you can have a gate a wah stop box delay um, you can have a looper there. Uh, this is the amp, a compressor, equalizer, volumes, mod uh, a modulator, and a reverb. Okay, so you can add uh, that. You know, you can turn them on and off, but it gives you a visual of like what you would see on the floor if you had a, a, a whole bunch of stomp boxes connected together. Okay, and so, um, so what we see here on the gate, I have a gate turned on. Uh, and uh, set at 69 decibels. Uh, the wah is turned off and now I just turned it on. You just click on it to turn it on or off there. Uh, the stomp box is a tube screamer that, that it was in play uh, on the sound that you heard. Uh, no delay, it's turned off. Uh, the amp, uh, of course, is the uh, plexi jump lead. And uh, one of the feature about the amp that when you click on it, this opens up the cabinet room there that you can actually put the microphone wherever you want it because uh, you're going to mic the amp so you can put it far away or you can put it right up against the speaker cone 
you can select over here the type of, um, of microphone. Here is a 57 style, you know, Sure 57 on axis, Sure 57 off axis, okay? So in other words, it's on, straight on, or it's tilted slightly. Uh, you can have a dynamic microphone, 421, or a 67 condenser mic, which, of course, they're a lot more sensitive. Um, so it depends on what you're doing and where you want to put it. You can place it wherever you want. Very cool feature, uh, and it does change the sound of it, okay? And it emulates you actually changing the placement of your microphone on the cabinet. Very cool. Okay, uh, you can have a graphic equalizer, okay? Um, and, uh, and this is, of course, everything on this side, on the right side of the amp, would be after the, um, the signal. Uh, going into a mixing box type thing, okay, and everything on the left side would be before the amp, so that's plugged into the amp, and this is the output afterwards into the mixing board slash into your amp, okay, so you can have before and after effects, which also affects the sound. Um, so we have a, a graphic equalizer, the volume pedal, uh, if the wah is on, of course, it's going to eliminate the one and only uh, pedal, volume pedal, um, it's either going to be one or the other, volume or wall. You've got a modulator, uh, modulation, uh, and this thing, uh, because Hendrix used a Univibe, uh, that's what I selected. But if you wanted something else, I mean, there's here's a whole, whole bunch of stuff. You can have chorus, flanger, Univibe, uh, bias, tremolo, opto, rotary drum, auto pan, panning back and forth, stereo flange, lumpy phase, high talk, you know, talk box, a sweeper, a pod purple X, tape eater, warble matic. So there's all kinds of sounds that you can, or, you know, stomp boxes in the modulation that you can select to be part of your signal. And then reverb. So you can go to re, uh, reverb, uh, and you can select what kind of reverb, uh, a luxe reverb, standard, and I think that means deluxe spring reverb, excuse me, standard spring reverb, a king spring, small room, tiled room, bright room, dark, dark hall, medium hall, large hall, rich chamber. So, you know, you can select the type of uh, reverb that you have. And in this case, I did a large hall. Okay. So, um, uh, all that added to the sound that we got there for the Hendrix, uh, Hendrix uh, 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 effect here. I got it on wah, and people, and I think Hendrix is one of them, used the wah effectively to... Not only for his... But they would, he would leave his wah pedal in a certain position, arc... Say there, to get a, a certain sound. So you can use the wah as a kind of a tone thing, and then you, of course, click on the button. Uh, on the toe of the uh, actual pedal, and you can turn the wall off. So now it's just straight up. So I was able to create that sound using effects in stomp boxes and, and amp simulators to, um, to what I know Hendrix used some of. Um, he uh, also used a phaser, uh, a fuzz face, and uh, I guess I got rid of that. Uh, but I had a fuzz face in the loop, and 
evidently I accidentally by doing this demo uh, got rid of it but you can add a fuzz face because he definitely had that sound in there and so uh, not to delay any longer uh, or to, to carry this on any further um, I just hope this helps you to see that this is a visual of uh, what's happening inside the stomp box so it gives you uh, a little more of a um, visual understanding of what's happening and hopefully it makes it simpler for you if you're a visual person uh, to see that don't be afraid of these stomp boxes go ahead and uh, you know purchase one and uh, of course I'm demonstrating line six make sure that it does have user software Fender Fuse software is almost ex it's very similar to this uh, uh, software here um, some have more bells and whistles than others, but Fender Fuse software that comes with the Mustang uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, amplifiers, it comes with them, uh, you know, free of charge, uh, also is very similar to this. It has a user interface that you can see what you're doing. And uh, so uh, think of it as a computerized uh, virtual stop boxes that you adjust just on the screen instead of on the floor. Uh, and then, of course, you go down to the box and you save it. So say you got all your settings that you want. You got the sounds that you want. You tweaked everything that you wanted tweaked, added whatever stop boxes you want. Then you go down to the unit, uh, and uh, there's a, on the left, top left, on the left side of the screen, there's a save button. You hit save. You turn that button to, to scroll to wherever you want to save it, whatever bank, 1 through 32. So you turn the button, the same one that, you're gonna, that you just hit save on, scroll to whatever bank you want it to be saved to. Uh, once you go to 28, it's going to give you the option of 28 A, B, C, or D. And as you're turning it, the knob, it'll give you that option. And um, once you find where you want it to be saved to, then you hit save again, and it saves whatever you did here on the screen on that box. So I hope that helps you. Thanks for watching EdsGuitarLessons.com and um, uh, if you have any comments just uh, write them down below and I appreciate your comments uh, and or questions uh, that I might not have answered. Uh, let me know and I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. Have a great day. God bless. And again, thanks for watching EdsGuitarLessons.com.